Okay, we're doing a horseshoe lace, and this is the hand knit pad version. Okay, and what I've done is I've created a chart, makes it easier to convert it to machine language. And it's the pattern calls for plus 10 plus 1, which that's what this is. But I like putting a knit stitch right in here. So I'll do copy and paste, and then I'll copy the knit, and I'll paste it down. Now what I've done, there is a knit font. You can find them on the internet. Just type in um, knit font symbols. Okay, and so what it is, is row 1 and 3 is knit, which we know it, it okay, 1 and 3 is knit. Now, row 2, now we knitted in this direction. Row 2 will be knit 1, yarn over, knit 3, knit 2 together, and then I inserted a knit, then it's pass, slip, slip over, then knit 3, and a yarn over, and a knit 1. Okay, so remember I added a stitch, so I added the stitch there. Okay, now that's row 2. Row 3 again is knit. Now row 4 is, this is the one where you have to change it, okay, is purl, which we're knitting. Purl 1, Okay, knit one pearl over, knit one, let's see, row, alright, so we got this one done, I'm going to put an asterisk, because I get lost very easy, now row two is knit one, Oh, I know what the word is. This is the repeat. Okay, that's the repeat, which is right here. So I'm going to change my purl to a knit. So I'm going to knit one, knit one, yarn over, knit two, slip one, and knit two together, which is right there. And then I knit one, and then pass slip over. Knit two, yarn over, knit one, and I, I knit two of them, okay? And you're going to repeat that across. So this is your repeats, okay? And I like bordering those with a dark border. No, I find that's not really dark enough for me. So I go to Format, Cell, pick a border, and then just go a little bit bigger. Okay, see now I can see it. Okay, so that is row two. Row three, coming back is all knits. Row four is, let me highlight this so I don't get lost. Okay, now row four, going this way. Okay, pearl knit. Now they got that as pearl. Okay, knit one. Knit one. Yeah, I'm getting lost again. <coughs> Let me highlight this so I can see it. Okay, now I can see it. Okay, so it's the repeat is knit one. Yarn over, knit two, slip one, knit two together, and I'm going to, that's my in, my addition, then I'm going to pass, slip, stitch over, knit two, yarn over, knit one, purl. 
So well, I want to see what it says here. So Pearl. <sighs> Where'd I go? And re repeat from across. Okay. So what did I miss in here? All right. So in here, let's see, five and seven. Yeah, remember the the odd ones you have to change. So do Control Find, and all the knits. I'm gonna change to pearls. Now I'm only using the P because I don't want to mix it up with the other one. Okay, then I'm gonna find the next one. Oh, I didn't do what I wanted to do, but okay. Now row, we're gonna do the even. We're gonna change the even rows. Okay, so all my knits are gonna be pearls, so I'm gonna convert that one. Remember, all my knits I'm changing. Now that's an odd row, so I'm not gonna mess with that one or any of those in row five and seven. Row six, I'm changing them. And row eight, I'm changing them. Okay. Now I want to change all my pearls. Or yeah, all my pearls, which I'm using, changing all my words to knit, which I'm just using letter K, so it doesn't get messed up with something else. Okay, so I'm going to find it, and remember, odd rows we're not changing. Okay, so even rows we're changing. Pearl, pearl, even rows we're changing. Okay. So now all my P's and all my K's should be there. Okay. So we can close that. Now let's regroup over here. Let's bring the legend up. Copy. And paste so we can see it. Okay. Now I also want. Okay, you've done your cast on, and then uh, let's see. I want to insert a symbol. Which insert? Where is it? Special character. Now I'm looking for an arrow, and I think Wingdings has one. Let's see. Yeah, here's one. So I want to take this one and I insert it, then move up, <coughs> excuse me, and go back and get vertical. Ah, it's in the wrong one. Special character, and it's on Wingdings. So I just type the W and pick up Wingdings, and I already took that arrow so now I need this arrow and just reminds me what direction my work is going in and bring all that up okay now row one which is this way is all knit row two is a pearl Yarn over, knit three, slip one, oh, oh ha, I know what I did. I was looking at this. So let's get rid of that. All right, that's what I'm working with. Row two. Okay, so we are pearl. Yarn over, pearl three, I'm going to have to check this out because I don't remember doing that. Okay, then I added a stitch, and then we purled. Yarn over and a pearl. 
gonna have to look at this. Because what I did is I just knitted everything. So all this was knit. Okay. Let's, I want the border down there. Oh, okay, so it, it looks like a pyramid. Now this action, what, by bringing these four over one to create the yarn over, and bringing these four over one to create that yarn over, it ends up making a um, arrow shape. So it'll, it'll look something like this. Let's see. Let's put some colors in here. Okay, so it'll it ends up looking, but in points. Okay, kind of neat actually. Cut. Okay, so that this is the pattern I'm going to be using. Okay, it's knit a row, then coming back, it's knit, yarn over, knit, two together, knit. Then I'm going to move these four over one, and knit. Then knit the next row. Okay, and we will do... Um, we'll do the work now. And I will save this with a link where you can get at it. Okay. Alright, so let's go save... Whoops. Save. Alright, it's there somewhere. Where did it go? I got something open back there, I think. It's not letting me save it. Nope. So, file. Save as. Okay, and I got it in. Save it wherever you want to save it. So this is, whoops, horse, shoe, lace, and I always put what it is, chart. Save that. And I don't really need this now, but I'm going to save it anyway. Save as. Same, save it in the same place. Horse, horse shoe, lace, words. That way I know which one I want to pull up. <laughs> and I will be back in a little bit.